Jeffrey here for world map number seven, Earth Entropy. This is a vertical video love lecture, and it happens to be titled Jeffrey, do not go to the valley. <laughs> Hi, this is Goody Pal speaking. Do not go to the valley, Jeffrey. Do not go. She will give you a sock. But I went anyway. And so now I'm spinning around my Olafur Eliasson little sun light and arranging stones in the snow. Not really sure what to do. I already miss my new European friends especially the close ones that I've made. And so my heart is full of picture elements, just like all my devices. Usually around this point in the lecture, I would be talking about resolution, about how at high resolution, you scan stuff in like a fingerprint. And at medium resolution, you can make marks like this with a pencil, and at low resolution, you are arranging things like this sad, depressed face. And then maybe I would sprinkle some time on top of the picture with an acorn, perhaps some blue paper, and then I would start to circle things, highlight things to try to show you exactly how I felt and try to make you also feel a particular kind of way. But it's sad. And so I draw sad faces, just like this. Here's a necklace that my niece gave me that was destroyed. Hey, I'm back! Uh, I feel kind of like a medium in a post-medium condition. All my books were destroyed in the move, but I'm still painting with light, like a Samsung TV. I think it's time to get rid of this page here. We're gonna move on to something else. Ugh, my marker box is so disgusting. Mm. And here I am, doing some simple tricks. I tried to read in your number but it's stored in so many places, and I don't know what to do. Here's my dad, and here's a zip file of texts. Here's my passcode. Your number is always hidden in some group text or some chat in which I sent it to somebody else. And I search for it and find it. And your pictures are littered throughout my map. Sometimes, when I'm really sad, I look at them, and I try to zoom in on them, and imagine that you're here. And so I zoom in onto your eye. Look at all the places that we went on walks together. Scroll back through our old texts. Try to imagine the sunlight on my face, and what it felt like. I'll look at the live photos, swipe them back and forth to try to remember what it was like to look and what it was like to see your love for me. Everything is fine now, I guess. And so, why the emptiness? Was it all my doing? Did I just trick myself into doing it? and force you along with me. Now I want support and resolution. One, four, three, I love you. Those are the only numbers that I really care about. No, 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 no. There's nothing I really feel like painting anymore. And so I read this love letter that you wrote for me, and I try to remember how it felt for you to have those feelings for me. But perhaps the back is more interesting. And I can still smell these flowers, too. I think it's time, though, that we light a candle and that we move on to something else. Because I ruin my friendships if I discuss it too much. 
thinking of you makes me feel so bad. And I try to patch things up, but it's never going to work. So here's a candle someone made for me one time of my own head. And here's some drawings that my nieces made for me and left in my room in Maine. Here's another one. And here's one more. Wow, Julia's paintings are so beautiful. I think one can go in and out on them for a long time. As you can see here, it's the most electric kind of night. And they're dark but fun and always inviting. Sort of darkened and rotated in a way. Everything just kind of works in them. And so as you zoom in and crop them, you can see that there's paintings inside of paintings. This is one of my favorites, a kind of electric boogie in the evening. And here we have a kind of colorful cave. Different colors. And here's some gravel with a kind of rainbow. And then some toys that were painted on, rotating very, very fast. Peace. Yo, what? <laughs> 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 